Well, hello everyone. In this video, we're going to do a let's play of building the perfect city. I'm going to show you how I start off and how I navigate pretty much all the issues that come about. The beginning of the game is the most critical. There's lots of mistakes that can be made. But once you know what you're doing, it seems a lot easier. The game seems pretty easy, to be honest. But it is, I know, I lost like my first two to three games playing this. So I'm just going to show you how I would build this city. All right, we're gonna select Trailblazer, Plains. We need a cool town name. Cool town name. There we go, there we go, creative. All right, just gonna leave it alone. We're gonna put the map size as large. Go to advanced settings. We're gonna override the seed and use the flat map seed that I have. That is 654B10111. E09 and hit start. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to see that. We've seen that. And then uh proceed to wait like two two minutes. Okay. Alright, let's pause. Let's look around. So th this is definitely a very flat map. You can pretty much set your place right where it starts. I personally don't like to hit the areas that have lots of wood because um, I want the forest later, but it's actually not that big of a deal. I mean, there's plenty of trees, and like I said, you can plant trees now in the game, and I'll show you that when I get to it. Um, yeah. I want that clay. It's kind of... Yeah, it doesn't like this little divot. Let's, uh... Oh, man. You can really do it anywhere, and then you can use the flattened terrain tools, but... I want my initial area to be pretty flat. And I also don't want to be built... There's very few herbs on this map, and herbs are important for upgrading. I actually have to buy them. So you want to make sure that you're not... See, here it is. Here's my little herb spot. Um, so you want to make sure that you're not going to impact that. This is probably... I don't care about sand. I'm going to build right on that thing. Uh, all right. All right, yeah, let's, let's do it. Cause... Off to a great start. Already killed something. Yeah, we got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Come on, guys. Prioritize. You can assign more workers. Gets the people moving around. We're going to speed this up a little. Um, so you want to be really careful not to have them start constructing too many roads in the beginning. Because uh, it takes them away. Like, wait till this is built before you start to try to build anything immediately. Timing's really critical. You got to get four houses up and you got to get a firewood splitter. If you don't have firewood before the winter, you're screwed. And then you got to get a hunter. And it I would do a hunter and two gatherers. All right, and they've ran out of resources, so I'm going to have them start cutting. And again, don't have them cut too much because just make sure that you click prioritize on that so once they have the resources, they go from harvesting to, to building. Exciting stuff, though. All right. As I said, timing. I'm gonna pause the game now that that's built. I like to get, I like to get an idea of where everything's gonna go. So wall piece is gonna be running right here, and then this is gonna be the main road. 
So I'm gonna get that going. I'm just gonna get the basic outline for that going. So there's that. One space wall. Here's the other road. Okay. So we got our little intersection going here. Now, important thing to remember in this game, you can move stuff. So it doesn't really matter if you place, you think you play something wrong. Like I'm gonna be moving a lot of this stuff mid game, but I'm gonna start building houses. And I'm gonna start building two wood splitters. And I'm gonna let those things get built. So like, I'm gonna be moving all this stuff. It's not, but right now I want I want everything kind of in a singular spot. The only thing I'm gonna build out properly is my storage facility right now. Forager, hunter cabin. We can do two. Let's do two of each. All right, so now we got plenty of wood going, and if I need to ramp it up, if I make the reason I build two is because if I screw up and I underestimate how much firewood I make, I don't have time to wait around for them to build build this if I make a mistake. So having two of them allows me to ramp up production. You'll see my previous build, I actually build out 10 of these. And any time I over or underestimate because I expand too fast, I can just increase or de decrease productivity that way. Like I didn't build like this before. And like, I basically like, don't be afraid to overbuild. It's better to overbuild and be able to ramp up production than to like realize you made a mistake and then it's too late and everybody dies because you can't wrap up production in time. And wells can be moved too. So it's like realistically, I, I don't, I don't care too much about this stuff early game. And you only technically need three houses, but if you want people to come, you need four. All right. Storage. Um, I can actually move storage too, but I just don't want to later. So one, two, three, four, one, two. There it goes. And let's hope I can count. And there's definitely things I could be doing better right now, um, but it is what it is. You're gonna now, you are gonna have to to really be Johnny on the spot with your forager shacks in the early game because resources are a little bit a little bit difficult on this map. Um, but once you get to a certain point, you're a okay. And I don't see anything that they can hunt. All right, we got firewood. Got people cutting trees. Everybody's doing stuff. Exciting times. Yeah, let's, look at that. Look at that hammering. It's freaking phenomenal. <laughs> like I said, the early gate. Early game's kind of like, uh, once you know what you're doing, it's just, it doesn't seem too difficult. Um, what I like about having a main section of the town, like what I have with the posted map, is you can kind of like get an idea of what your grid's gonna be like early game. So when people are sitting around, I'll just start building out the roads and slowly expanding things. right now we just need we have the food that you start with it's on medium difficulty so i only had medium difficulty you start with nine months worth of food so you need to get some food for the winter you're gonna die you need to get firewood or you're gonna die the reason also i want to keep stuff localized is because if i do get raided i can garrison if a bear comes in i can garrison and shoot if you, if you have your base spread out and a bear comes in and you don't have a tower, um, like 
I had I have two hunters, so you could put your hunters on them, and that might get it. But I had a situation where a bear killed half my town once, um, <laughs> and then everyone starved to death. And it was honestly, I I was laughing my ass off the whole time. <laughs> it was it was uh, it was really funny. I was just like, all right, okay. All right, so people want to want to join, but uh, they don't like me. And remember what I said: we can move, we can move all this. So you don't have to stick to the design. The only thing you ha it has to stick to the design, and I'm pretty sure it's just the town center. It's just, that's the only thing that can't be moved. some get some uh some bird sounds wood chopping we're we're having a blast here all right let's hunting cabin let's send this guy out of the woods another cool trick i don't know if you guys know about this there's a set exploration point button down there in the bottom right so if you're wondering like what resources especially in the early stage where you're trying to like you're trying to gather i mean i i probably shouldn't expand it too much because i don't have people but especially when you have a ton of people you should always be circling your zone of exploration, looking for, for uh, resources or anything you need. All right, and I am running out of wood. It is a problem of mine where I like to expand a little too quickly. Oh, we got, we got ourselves some deer to kill. So yes, unfortunately you will need to, yeah, there's a lot, of, oh, and the seasons change. You will need to kind of really maximize oh my lord <laughs> sorry so we got we got a lot of meat and food we're taking bambi's house though we're clear cutting these fours they're gonna make a disney movie about what i'm doing to this land This seems slow. Come on. All right. Now that we got like the basic stuff down and we're not all gonna die, I don't want to do tower because I I don't want to go negative gold. I need to get these stockyards built so that I can build different buildings. I'm gonna put some more. I got no labors. I'm gonna cut down on my firewood production because I have quite enough. I don't got any laborers cutting wood, so actually I'm just gonna disband the firewood splitter altogether. Nothing to forage. Like I said, you gotta kinda min max it in the beginning. I'm gonna up my builders to four. My labor is up. So in the winter time, it is important to, like I said, Later in the game, you don't even have to look at this stuff. You just you have you'll have like eighty or ninety people over. You just have you just have a bunch of people sitting around doing nothing. Um, early game though, you got to be Johnny on the spot with this stuff. Your hunters will get you. Hunters will get you through any bad winter. Those wolves sound hungry. All right, look at that. We are, we are building stuff now. All right. And so we're gonna place a granary between these two. Boom. 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 There you go. All right, that's our storage area. Look, it looks just like the picture. All right. Like I said, I am. I am gonna move these. All right. Uh, wait. We're still good on firewood. Let's let's just have one guy do it. Foragers come back. Make sure to go up. And different. 
different stuff has different seasons for when it's available. Um, I honestly don't know what's available when. I just kind of like look for the, I look for the pretty colors and I just click on them. That's much better. The green. Looks like my hunters are doing their thing. And like I said, early game, I like to keep everything as compact as possible in case predator in case bandits and predators and all that type of stuff so and i'll just move these houses later but i want to keep everything in a central location while i build up my resources all right we can however start to design this all right so i kind of like use ha like i kind of will pause the game i don't like counting tiles i'll i'll use like a house so i know that I know this area is going to be three houses, so I know that one of the roads is going to be right here on my design. Because that's how it is on the on the thing. And then it's... Uh, it's lined up with this, so I know the road is here. So, there we go. That's my little inner area with all the... All the green stuff. The parks. One, two, three, four, five. Five by five park. One, two. Hmm. Now oh, that's a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three for the house, and then one. Cool. All right. As I, I, uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> it is a, a long day. I've temporarily forgot how to how to read <laughs> all right so oopsie daisy i didn't want to build those houses this is like i use i just use this stuff as lazy meth it's just like all right and then i also know I shouldn't have deleted it. I also know it's going to be two houses across. Jeez Louise. And this road's going to just keep going. I like in my... Um, residential areas to have all the roads go through the walls because I find it increases the speed of workers going to the farms that I'm going to be putting out there. So I will just fly those out. So there's that section. And then I know that it's going to be one, two, three, four houses long. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. I'll just delete these roads later. Uh, yeah, that that's a great road right there. Sometimes, sometimes, man, this is not a good look. Okay. There we go. So I have, I have the f bottom half of this area all Organized. I'm gonna cancel these houses now. The reason I'm doing this is so I can rush to start planting crops because berries. Actually, let's build those houses. Berries is not gonna cut it. All right. And then again, more lazy math. I know I have a road there, a space of three, and then a wall. So another space of three. And then I have the outside of my base. God, there's so many trees over here. All right, I can't, I can't with these trees. I'm just gonna have to clear cut these trees. We'll, we'll get back to that later. But essentially I'm just, this will be the outside of where 
The walls will be in here, this will be the outside, and this is where my farms are going. Yeah, they want to mark it. They've been here two days, and they're already making demands. Market's gonna go up here. Alright, they're cleaning that area so I can actually see what I'm doing. Alright. Lots of food. the wrong ones. Everyone's getting food, so... Those are straight. All right, so this is the outer road. The walls, the three wall pieces will go. The walls and the extra space are right here. This is as far east as it goes. So, we're gonna place a farm. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. All right, you wanna? Yeah, I'm gonna wait so I can like I could do it, but you guys won't get a good example of how I how I do this. I'm gonna wait till they bust these trees down. Let's uh let's put a priority on these trees. Our village is growing. We need to get that farm ASAP. Because it takes a while. With farms, you want to be building them well in advance of when you think you're going to need them, to be honest, because it takes forever. So, as I explained in my video, I do ape. What the hell did I. Sorry, dude. My OCDs are a little. a little severe right now. All right, so an eight by nine is one of the best fields you can plant um, outside of the 10 by 11. Now the reason I do eight by nines is because they only take three workers and they have an insane crop yield. So I prefer eight tiles this way. Let's do it this way. Eight and then up nine. And remember to leave a one tile space so that you can build fencing. And I'm probably gonna build three of these and then have a road going past it so that they can get through it. All right, so I got my first farm up. Number eight by nine. Oh my gosh, this game doesn't allow you to click. <laughs> this game has a problem where like, if you're trying to click somewhere that has an object, it doesn't, it just like, doesn't know what to do. So you need to make sure you're clicking in a cell that doesn't have an object in it. Like that. You know what, let's go the distance. All right, so now I got my farms. Go down, start building out fences. Oh my lord, this place is a nightmare. I picked like the worst spot. So you wanna make sure 
you have a fence that goes all the way around. I don't fence in each one of them. That's why I like to build them in clusters like this so I don't have to do a bunch of fencing. I just fence in the area. And voila. Then you can do it how you want. I like to put gates near door, uh, near the uh, roadways like this. Line it up so that people are moving in straight lines. Um, these don't have any roadways that I can see right now, but they will. One, two, three, one, two. Oh man, that's gonna it's gonna kill me. All right, this isn't gonna be perfect. Usually I'd, I'd line these up, so we'll just place them. And you just want to have, you know, gates so people can move around. But this will keep all the deer and animal from eating your plants, which if you don't do, they'll you'll die. They'll eat all your plants. They'll eat like half your crops. All right, so that's extreme expansion right there. I'm also going to make some storage. So this is what I like to do at the entryway in the middle of a farm plot, put two root cellars like that. Keep in mind, the wall's gonna go. There's gonna be a wall here and a wall here. Wall here, wall here, and then towers right here. You can bump this out. You could bump this out easily one more tile if you want, if you just want like that extra room. I did that on my last build, but it's it was just a waste of space. I want to keep everything tight. All right. So I got enough houses that I don't have to worry. I got enough storage that I don't have to worry. My gatherers and such are bringing stuff to the root cellars here. Probably should actually move these next to the root cellars. You're definitely in the realm of needing food. So I have expand now. This is this is the trick to this game. You expand, catch up, expand, catch up. I'm at a point where I cannot expand anymore because my resources don't allow it. And I know like I'm playing it pretty close <laughs> to the wire here. I'd recommend if you're not comfortable that you don't do what I did by expanding so quickly. I'm like so used to being on the brink of death that I don't even care. Um, I, I know I know I'll be fine. Remember to make good use of your prioritized features though. All right, and I'm gonna put this guy right here because I need the food. So I got two months worth of food. I'm, we're doing good. Once I get those, I'll go down and get the eggs. But hey, you just gotta be Johnny on Johnny on the spot with your resources. Once we get these farms going, it's game over. It's like. Well, we don't got much to do. We just gotta wait now. So, look at these guys. Look at them. Having the time of their lives, aren't they? Everybody pulls their weight in this village. The coolest town ever. And the patch did add more stone, so stone's pretty easy to get now. And we got more firewood than we need. We got six farmers. 
So that's what's great. These three farm plots are only going to cost me nine workers, and they are going to bring in... Well, at this stage, not a lot. At later stages, though, depending on what you're growing, I think I could pull in about 2,000 with leeks um, and about 750 with other stuff. So, I mean, you're, you're talking 1,000. You're talking... You're talking, like, probably nine months worth of food can be grown per. So... You just have a ton of spoilage. This can this will be able to support probably around a hundred people right there. I I seriously think wish they had a times five speed button on this game though. But don't underestimate your hunters. These guys will pull in like you think you're think you're not doing well and they will do the job they will pull in so much food later game they, they suck later game i use them as pest control when uh the bandits come in and break the gates on my farm animals will go in and i'll repair the fencing and then the animals will get stuck in there so then i i just I, I literally only have my hunters around for pest control at that point just target my farms and have them go in there and get everything out barns are ridiculously efficient as far as meat goes, barns are automated now. So when they go over the, the herd amount, they'll automatically kill them. And when you have a herd of 11, you have a birth rate of three usually. So you're talking 1,500 meat per barn. So you have two to three barns and you'll have so much meat that it will expire. You won't even be able to use all of it. What's great about that isn't so much the meat as it is the hide, which you need to clothe everybody. All right, so like, yeah, you know, we're we're doing good. We're gonna have root sellers. We're gonna have farmers going. If I were to build any of my defenses out, it would be the, here. I don't have any gold because we gotta get to. Got to get planks going now. I'm going to prioritize this so I can get one field going. So there's a couple ways you can do your fields. The reason I say pre-expand your fields is because you want to make sure you have time to properly vet the field like i will grow for three i will not grow anything on a field for three years i will just do clovers and maintenance i'll get all the weeds off of it and i'll get the fertility up to 80 and then i'll start growing on it and so like and i'll have like th i'll always have fields going in advance of what my population needs so that i can be constantly preparing the fields for future perfect growth and by doing that i'm just I'm, i never have a food problem because i'm always way ahead of myself um here though there is a you could grow plants that have weed suppression if you're like really starving like we are here you could grow plants that have weed su suppression see i'm not really worried about the fertility so much as i am the weeds the weeds are going to have just a massive impact um but once i get i will grow some clovers clovers are really good Clovers have really good weed suppression, so if you're worried about fertility, you could grow clovers and still get good weed suppression. Boom. Um, I am worried about our food supply, though. I gotta focus on my foragers. Go get some nuts. Yeah, 240 meat last year these guys brought in. Early game. It's all about... All about killing these things. We have enough... As long as you got six or seven months, I mean, you're good. You're going to make it to the winter. You're going to hit... 
you know, autumn, and then you're gonna be able to send your guys out to get more food. That's what I'm saying, like, you have to, you have to not get freaked out by this, you just have to have two gatherers and two dudes get meat, and you're good. Oh my gosh. The weeds are getting out of control in that plot of land. But this is why I don't grow... Like, if I were to grow something on this, like, it would yield, like, 200. It's just, like, not even worth it. Oh, well, all my food just expired. So. It is gonna be a hard winter. Firewood's good. Anyone who has idle time, just... We are... We're building a city, alright? We gotta... We gotta tear down the forest. I'm sorry. Mm, not like in the food situation right now. Oh, man. We are flying by the seat of our pants, but we're gonna we're gonna come out we're gonna come out strong. Yeah, look at that. Got me some meat. Definitely need two hunters. Hell, maybe even three. I, I'm gonna go on record. Make three hunter cabins. That will help you if you underestimate your uh, your food supply in the in the winter. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm I'm already way too into it. And they ate all the food, man. Yeah, the food's food's spoiling pretty fast. They'll be all right. All right, it's the start of a new year. And see, look, I made it. I'm actually going to focus on this area so that they get food in the right next to them and bring it back ASAP. All right, we got a month worth of food. All right, now I can... Now I can breathe. But that's... That's how you, that's how you roll in this game, fellas. You got to... You gotta make your your people work for it. Like if you're, you know, giving them like twelve months of food and stuff, like they're gonna get they're gonna get soft. Like you need the constant terror of starvation to like properly motivate everyone to work at peak efficiency. Um. <laughs> All right, I um I'm gonna break my rule because I I did expand a little too quickly here. Let's get let's get something that suppresses weeds. All right, whatever. Who cares? We're just gonna grow beans. Why? Because beans are awesome. That's why. Actually, it's because they have a really high uh, heat tolerance. I'm gonna be growing them in the summer. Root vegetables, which these aren't. Beans have a long. I'm I'm actually still learning about shelf lives and stuff. What I do know is that root vegetables last 12 months. So turnips and carrots have a 12 month sh shelf life. I think beans have a nine month shelf life, and I think that greens have a six month shelf life, but I don't know that for a fact. I'm just like kind of extrapolating. The only thing I know is that root, I do know that root vegetables have a 12 month shelf, shelf life. So I'm assuming because beans say that they have a higher storage life than other stuff, but I know that they're less than 12. I'm gonna say, okay, this is nine. And I'm gonna say, I know greens spoil fast and that's six. And I based it on the fact that, like, I've been growing a lot of stuff, and I know they don't expire too quickly, so that seems about right to me. Um, but this is total speculation. All right. And this is, but this is the most, this is, like, early game here. It's just, like, trying not to starve to death, trying to um, expand quickly.
trying to find deer to kill. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And by the way, I don't know if you guys can see that. The very bottom of the screen, it will tell you what the probability of encountering a certain animal is. If you see bears, don't go down there because then they chase you back and they kill everybody. Just like, stay as far away from bears as you possibly can. Alright. But you see that, guys? Look at that. We made it. I'm gonna try to sneak some food in. I just need I just need something. Something to keep this team going. Firewood is outrageously high. Alright. All I need now is fifty planks and a market. Alright, let's get that market area. We have officially Clutched, <laughs> clutched it on starving everybody. Um, I know this goes all the way straight up. I know there's gonna be a three by three school here. So one, two, one, two, three. So this is where the market goes. I can always move it too, but we're gonna get the market down. It's gonna bring in money. And that's where the problems start. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, it's the berries and the nuts. The berries and the nuts are saving me. This is like this is it though. This is the mistake people make early game. They don't build they don't realize how important oops, sorry, they don't realize how important the gatherers and hunters are early game. Later game, the gather like the gatherers are good for getting herbs and whatever you want for like making the wicker baskets. But all right, we got some people who died. I don't really care about that. Man, they didn't get the crops out. All right, these guys are pissing me off because of one worker. Yeah, I've noticed that like about farming, if you don't have your your stuff maxed out and you're down one worker. They'll just be like, none of us are working. It's just like, okay. It's happened to me, like, oh man, there goes that clutch. But look how, look how, <laughs> look how fast we turn that around. And that's the beans, 580 beans. So yeah, growing, growing those beans probably just saved, saved me. I have enough food for the next eight months. So go ahead and plant beans. It's just like a, it's just a personal pet peeve that I like to get the land ready. You know what? The weed suppression on this is really good. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite early game builds. Peas, clovers, turnips. Mm, we, need, we need clovers. And I like to do leeks, but only when... The weed levels are down and the fertility is up. So we are going to do cabbage, which is not as, de it's still heavily uh, dependent on fertility, but not as much as leeks. And it gives a good yield. We'll do cabbage that year. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I don't get diseases. The, I, the peas and the beans are within the same family, so I could get a disease from that. It's really unlikely. And then you have all this time after the peas are planted before you plant beans again, so like the probability of, uh, of of getting the if you get a disease, it's gonna be gone by the time you're coming back around. So this is my favorite. Like this is a ridiculous. Uh, I would be doing leaks, but if my really are right, this is one of my favorite just massive food dumps. There you go. We are now at a place where food is not an issue, which means we need more people. We are expanding, and we are growing, and we are going to burn this forest to the ground, building our empire. But that's it. That's that's like the critical moment. I've I've basically just won the game now. Just not dying. Oh, and I need um. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be my industrial area, so... I do... I do need to start... You don't want waste to accumulate because it spreads the plague. Put him here for now so that he's close. Uh, if too much waste accumulates, not only do the people not like it, but that, that doesn't really matter. Um, if rats get everywhere, they eat the food, they spread the plague, so you're running out of food and your people are dying. We also need to as get the... Um, I gotta get this up right now. The hospital. Uh, as soon as I possibly can, I gotta get the hospital up. So I need to, up I need to upgrade this. And I need 50... A little bit behind. I was a little too focused on not starving to death. So, all right, we're we're in good shape now. So we're gonna ramp up our plank production, upgrade this, get the healer house up asap. This has happened to me. It, I've 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 made it probably around like 15 or 16 cities. So like, but my third or fourth gameplay, I actually almost lost the entire game because I didn't have a healer's hut up. And so, like, one person gets sick, then 10 people get sick, then 20 people, then it's the whole town. Um, you just get one healer up, and you never have to worry about it. The tip that people have been using is, like, to turn the healer off when you're not using it, so that it, because it does cost gold. That's a good tip if you, if you want to min-max it and you want to watch. But the moment you see someone sick, turn it back on so the disease doesn't spread. Alright, since we got... Since we got enough food coming in, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna make sure that this farmland is really good. That way I can expand faster. And that's what I'm saying. Like you always wanna be ahead of yourself. You always wanna be like, you don't wanna wait until you need more food. You wanna like, I want this piece of land to be full fertility, no weeds. And like, I'm like going straight into production, going straight into mass producing food to expand. I'm just gonna expand as basically as fast as I possibly can now. Everybody's chopping trees. And watch your firewood. My wheat production is going to go right here when I get to it. See, I'm already, I'm already getting soft. Like I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not throwing my foragers around like I used to. I'm just getting, getting too comfortable with the, the farmlands. This is a nice spot right here. All those eggs. Willow you use to make baskets. And we'll do we'll do clovers for wheat suppression on that one. We'll do clovers for wheat suppression. We'll do one. Yeah, we'll do it like that. All right, so we're gonna have peas, turnips this year. He is out of ammunition. That is fantastic. There's a boar up there, so we don't want to go there. Let's send him down here. Lots of deer. All right, we can upgrade. Let's get that going. We need to get a healer hut up ASAP. It's the biggest mistake I've... It's like the biggest mistake you can make. Once you get that healer hut up, and you just keep the flow going like this, there's not much that can stop you.
Remember, I have to upgrade this market for it to hit everything. All right, healer's house. It's going right here. Doesn't matter which direction you face it, they don't care. But I'm gonna face it up anyway. And let's get that school in. And then this will be a late game where I have the ability to place um, the statue. And we got so, I'm feeling so, so confident in the amount of food that we have. Leave one space between. This is purely cause, I purely just like this for cosmetic and because I had nothing else to do with it. We're gonna expand. We are going, we're going to full limits here. By the time I need the food, I'll be able to. Oh man, this, yeah, this this plot, this land's already good. So this is already planted. So I'll get that graveyard out here in a second. I just don't feel like it right now. Would be smart to alternate these, so let's do beans in the second year here. Leek. Oh, I was doing cabbage. So we want to do leeks in the first year. I don't even care. I just don't want it to come back here and look at this stuff again. That's no, not leeks. What would be my alternate is like between these three make sure they're never growing the same thing the same year that way you're always yielding so every year i will be yielding leeks beans peas and turnips i'll be yielding all three of these because i have alternated them pretty cool that's how i do all of my farming i do them in sets of three it just it keeps consistency every year i know like i'm not gonna have one major like one massive crop one year one and then one small crop next year like i'm always going to have the same amount of food coming in depending upon fertility of course but the var the, the variables are less th basically is what i'm saying you don't have to think about what's if something more was grown one year all you have to think about it what is the fertility and what are the weeds it's all i care about i'm going to have consistent growth all right i am running out of arrows i should have um i should have been on this get a Fletcher we can put this in the commercial area I am I'm gonna move all of this stuff around like I said I like to keep everything kind of centralized um, in the beginning I'm probably gonna get raided here pretty soon we did make it to tier 2 which means we could put walls And I have my road coming in like this. Move this down one so I can get the road across. I'm going to start working on this uh, wall though. Getting ready to be hit. Now it's time to think like a and you don't need to build the towers yet you can if you want I don't I'm just gonna fortify fortify this area but this is important you got to get your farms going Pretty much the, the pace that I did everything is how you do it. Like, I know I clutched it with the food and stuff, but, like, if you built three hunters instead, you probably wouldn't have had that issue. I'm just, like, 
I've gotten this down to like kind of a science. It's like I know that the hunters are going to bring in food in the winter, so I don't really care. It's like I, I know at the beginning of the year the gatherers can go out and get crops, so I don't really care. It's like there's always a way to get food early game. You just need to have the proper the proper buildings to get those resources. And I there's a lot I could have done better in this. I'm I, honestly this might be a good play playthrough because you can see like how not doing something has a consequence. Like not building that Fletcher earlier. Like I could I could pause the game and I could take more time. But I mean, like, you can hit the pause button on the video if you want. And you're trying to follow along a build. Um, I just don't want to make like a seven-hour <laughs> video. <laughs> it's saving. I don't want to make just an enormously long video that nobody wants to watch. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, it's, yeah. Let's let, let's watch some some woodcut in action for a while. Fat. Yeah. This is this is where it's at. Screw all this other stuff I'm talking about. Watch them cut wood. Yeah, saw it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, predator. Predator somewhere. I thought I was getting raided for a second. I, I, anytime I hear action going on, I'm like, yep, I'm about to get my ass kicked. All right. I'm going to do some lazy math here. Actually, let's get the trader in. Mate, all right. This one does matter. This one does matter. You can see he's got three arrows, right? He's got three arrows. You want to place it like this. I mean, you can place it any way you want. But I would say place it like this. It probably will work the other ways, but this game is weird. That's the way I placed it, and that's the way it's worked for me. All right, and then two tiles behind for the granaries that I'm going to put in here. And boom, we have our Walden area. I'm going to put a vault. We, can, uh, we can't build it till we get iron, but we can at least... We can at least stare at it. And what could be... And yep, there's a fire. I am gonna build. Oh man. I'm gonna build a well down here. I'll move it later, just so that there's faster access to putting out fires. Greenery, greenery. Storage. And the reason I do this is because I needed something to fill this area. And I thought storage would be a great thing to fill that area. But that's it. And then you got two spots for towers right there. Once this is all done, I got my area. We might get raided before I get this up. I'm gonna increase this to two. I want more arrows than bows. Though eventually I will need, an, I will need like 80 bows. All right, it's clutch time. Food, food's getting hard. We've expanded. This, this is what I'm talking about. You expand, and then you, you got to catch up with your expansion. You just, I just, it's just this rinse and repeat. Oh, the food stocks are low. It's like, what do you guys want from me? Always accept. They're gonna have plenty of food. Alright, 
Now that we got um, trade coming up, we're going to do my early game money maker. We're here. We've <laughs> we're at a point where we actually have potential for an economy. We're gonna make coal. I've explained this in the video and other videos. One lumber basically translates into 12 coal, which sell for five gold a pop. So one piece of lumber can make you 60 gold. And that is because one lumber makes 15 firewood and 15 firewood converts into four coal. Sorry, 15 firewood converts to 12 coal. Lord have mercy. It's been a long day. I was like, did I say four? I meant 12. I meant five converts in five. Five converts into four. 15 divided by five is three. Three times four is 12. Let's watch some fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I need to do. Let's just, uh, let's watch this. Oh, um, what the? Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. I've been putting this off. Um, I never like to build a graveyard because it's like I got. I just got to put it like way down here in the middle of nowhere. I'll never come down there. Could I? Yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, actually. There we go. That's better. Oh wow, we already got we already got a dude, and I got nothing to trade him. But eventually I've gotta buy my next goal is to get into bread production, so I need to buy heavy tools. Um he's got a lot of good stuff. Which reminds me we need to get an ox now we need to get an ox cart up. The wagon shop. I call them ox carts. I gotta stop doing that. I call the wagon shop. Once I get the wagon shop up, I can get clay coming in. And the reason I want to get clay coming in is because eventually I want to have a massive surplus to make bricks. Even though I'm going to be buying bricks. And there's some stuff that you need the base ingredient of clay to build. Um, we're going to max out our coal production here. Five firewood. Four coal, one lumber, 15 firewood, 12 coal, 60 gold. It's that simple. You can build two of these if you want. I mean, do we got the, we got the people? Yeah, we got the people, but I, I don't want to use them for that. We're getting chased down. All right, they got, yeah, that guy got that predator. And look at our farms. They're because the um, clovers are natural weed suppressors. They're doing a pretty good job. However, this one is not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put in this guy. I need to get I need to get those weeds down faster. Now look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Hopefully we can get this up before the first raid. If we don't, we don't. First raid's usually pretty small, so it doesn't matter. It's just a, uh, it's just a good idea to have it up though. Let's see, and food is no. I don't even think. Don't even care anymore. Don't even have to think about food. Eventually, I am going to do 12 by six, two 12 by 6s behind this. I'll remove this layer of fencing, put the 12 by 6s, and then refence it all back in. Right now, I'm not going that, that direction. Right now, I'm all I'm thinking about is bread. All right, and we have maxed our population out at 80 people. And to be honest, I could expand, but I don't think it's a good idea. But I'm going to do it. 
I am gonna do it. Whoops. Oh, that was right. Oh my god. Shrine's gonna go here. And this is gonna be where the pubs are. You could not put that road in too if you don't want, and you could fill that with uh with gardens for cosmetics. I'm gonna put a road there though. But you don't have to. And we're gonna put a well down. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Alright, well is placed. Yeah, that was uh that was not in it. I've uh, I've decided that we need to be proactive here. I'm gonna select walls only to be removed. I'm gonna remove the walls. I'm gonna start my twelve by six. The reason I do twelve by six is it's basically the same, basically the same thing. Is the eight by nine. That's the production for three workers. If I were to make it any bigger, I'd have to take four. And I'm all about efficiency. You you could easily make it as big as you want. You don't have to be as anal as I am. I just like to use as few people possible to uh, get production. But I mean, like you don't have to do that. It's like it's overkill. I I usually have hundreds of guys. It's like so what if uh. So what if you like use more resources than you have to? I mean, you use more people than you need to. Something, something like the like whoop de do. This game's pretty, pretty forgiving when you have people. It's when you don't have people that the game is not forgiving. I'm gonna overgate, but anyway, yeah, I need to get some more cropland. Just, um, these people are hungry. All right, so I have. Now, now I'm definitely not going to be producing anymore. Mm. Let's get some clay. Let's see if I have anything I can sell. Not yet. I always pause when the traders go up so I don't have to sit there and rush. Um, I don't have anything I want to sell this guy. He doesn't have anything I want. I'm looking for heavy tools. I want to sell a bunch of coal and I want to get heavy tools so I can build a windmill. How many people do I have? 19. That's not enough. As you can see, I need clay to build these things here. You have to build your ox cart before you can build your mine. All right, so, all right, we're being attacked, so we're gonna hit the bell, get everyone in. Once you start shooting, once you start shooting them, they usually it usually gets their attention. No, that was it. Oh, very scary, right? They ran away. Killed them all and they ran away. That's why I didn't... I mean, I didn't even really need the walls at this stage. They are just—they weren't much of a threat. All right, I gotta find a trader who wants to buy my coal.
that's right. And I'm going to build. I'm going to build another saw pit. Those are good. It looks looks like they uh, looks like they uh, didn't do very well. Great. Now I got a bear attacking people. See, this is what I'm talking about. I think I jinxed myself, man. I shouldn't have. I should not have invoked the bear. This one ran away, thank God. I had a bear who stayed in my town. Like I told you, he killed half the town. He stayed in the town for three freaking full years, three freaking full rotations, just running around killing people. It was, it was, like I said, it was pretty funny. There's not much I could do, and because I broke my fences, some of the wildlife is getting in here. And now I'm going to call pest control while I make this transition. Alright, we're going to have more food coming in. But I'm not worried about my food, like I said. I got the leeks. I got lots of crops coming in. There we go. Look at that. That got the weeds down. Oh my gosh, the weeds here are disgusting. Yeah, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's do some weird stuff there. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be forward thinking. You gotta be expanding beyond what you need. Constantly expanding beyond what you need. We need clay so we can build this. Gotta prioritize that. Let's see if that um, cemetery got built. Oh wow, there it is, all the way in the middle of nowhere. All right, and I'm going to try to bring in more food. I don't even bother with clothing and shoes early game. I mean, you could. There's definitely an argument and a benefit to it. I just like, I prefer to focus my people on like ex expansion and resources that I want. Like, I don't really care if they're happy. Um, I just care if they're happy enough to work. I don't care if they're like having the best day of their life. We're building, we're building a giant castle, all right? This is not, this is not a fun time for everybody. Now there are two ways to build. Uh, I might do some stone road. I don't need them yet. Uh, when you tell them to upgrade the stone road, it takes forever for them to update them. So like, a better method is to delete the road, and then just build the stone road, because then they'll actually like go out and do it, like instantly instead of taking forever. I don't know if they patched that. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. We'll we'll try upgrade on this one, and we'll try stone on that one. See which one, uh, see which one takes longer. See, they're like already working on the stone one. They are working, they are working on the other one too. It looks like they patched it. 
But let's see how long it takes even after they do the work for it to turn to stone. That'd be cool because it's kind of kind of annoying deleting the roads. Though sometimes it's nice because the roads are like, uh, as you can see, I kind of just like, the roads are like in really odd pieces. So. But yeah, food, food's no longer an issue. Got to really ramp up. Now we just really want to ramp up wood planks. And we're probably going to want to ramp up firewood. We're going to want a big old stock of firewood for what I got planned. Looks like I forgot section of fencing. All right, once those are built, this area will be fully fenced in. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, 15 farmers pulling out. Easily each of these can pull out between one and 2,000. So that's, that's five to 10,000 food right there. That's a lot. It depends on what you grow. The greens, because they expire faster, you get more. The the roots, because they last longer, you get less. It's That's why I, roots are actually probably one of the be better things to grow. I try to, like, mix it up. I try to make sure that everyone's fed. That way, if I screw up, they don't... They take longer to starve, because they've eaten. All right, we're gonna start also doing honey. I could have done that earlier, but got distracted. Oh, he had, this is a glitch where it does this. He has something I want though. Oh my God, please stop. All right, I got it. He has something I want. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this here in time to sell. people in here stocking trading post stocking for trading post yeah yeah oh my god sorry about this guys I'm gonna get like sick 504 I could buy two yes we got bread all right now the next phase of production 10 by 11s. Now the reason I do 10 by 11s is because they, it's the maximum for a high volume. They're not as a fit. They're not as worker efficient as the eight by nines, but I'm going to be using all my fertility boosts on these. So when you factor that in the yields on these 10 by 11s for, for how many workers it takes is uh, pretty extreme. And I'm going to build three of them. And this is going to be a big deal. This is, this is it. Once I get this, I don't even know if you need to see me play any more of this game. Um, because I've pretty much beaten the game. And a lot of this, as I said, is me just min-maxing the game. Like, I do 10 by 11s because it's exactly... It's exactly five workers. If I go just one more tile, it's six workers. And it's like, all right, so this... If I were to do that, I'd get bigger yields, and it would be using one more worker. But you you wouldn't be getting that great of a, a difference in yields. And if, like, you care about that... Like, if you care about that kind of stuff, go for it. You don't have to do this. This is just... This is just me because I I'm all about rapid expansion so it's like I need 
If, if I were to do extra workers on all the farms, I'd only have 10 laborers. That's, the, that's like seven people I can't put into building when I want to expand. It's just like I'm always trying to, to maximize the, the workers I can focus in certain industries for expansion. Um, so I'm just always min-maxing. But there's no... You don't have to. You don't have to min-max in this game. You don't have to be... You don't have to be crazy, so... And the deer are very interested in what I'm doing over here. Which is great. It's good. Let's, uh... Send some guys over. Welcome them. This is actually probably a good setup because you get the weed reduction and you get some fertility boost. Alright, and here we can do whatever we want. I like to grow turnips last because they have heat tolerance. And sometimes you find yourself needing that in this season. <laughs> I know it's really boring, but the setup just works. The only thing is it's going to throw... I am going to have a, my seasons a little thrown off because... These aren't equal, but whatever. One, one year I'll just have more food than the other. And then once that project's done, oh lord have mercy, I need food. And this, that's where these guys come in. Oh, I got a bean harvest coming in. I'm all right. This is why you need to get grain production up, though, as soon as you possibly can. And remember, I'm I'm not placing things how I how you should on the map because I'm just getting the game the game going. I'm gonna move all this stuff around. All you really need to make sure is that your roads are placed correctly, and you you want to build your residential correctly because you want to um, you want to maximize the tax gain that you're getting. Let's look at the taxes. 17 a month. Not a big deal. That's more than I can handle, but one of them will probably die. And this game, you know, the beginning of this is really lackluster. I mean, this doesn't look... I'm like, what, two hours into this? I'm like, this doesn't look anything like what I showed you. But what I showed you was like 10 hours of gameplay. Like, it snowballs really fast. Like, right now I'm here, but... Oh my god, sorry about that. Hit the wrong button, and I'm back. I had a phone call. Alright, anyway, what I'm saying is, this stuff snow snowballs fast, so don't... Don't be like, what? This doesn't... This, do this, this doesn't look anything like the picture. This is, uh, the, the Bob Ross anybody can paint phase of the base building. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna fix this all up I guarantee, I guarantee it I still don't care about making my guys I will I will place these buildings but I'm just I'm not at that phase my f primary focus is on getting to a is getting bodies I want as many bodies as I possibly can get and so I'm focused solely on food production right now 
once I have more food than I know what to do with, then I start focusing on like those little details. But let's look at what we can do that's forward thinking. We can, um, we can start looking at my second favorite thing to do, which is candles. Um, so we'll put these, and you know what? It says you don't want to intersect them. I, I don't care. I just do this. It's like I, I put one per farm, and uh, if it doesn't get a bonus, it doesn't. And I'll even do that. I just I just put them whatever I want. Accept them. Um, like I said, they'll freeze the death. I don't care. They'll find they'll find they'll find somewhere to go. Or um. Well, I'll move, I'll move these later. Let's let's get them some houses. Oh, it is getting a little laggy. I have this on max graphics. Does not like that snow. I have to uh Turn something down here. I literally have this on max graphics. There we go. Turn the shadows down one notch. That did it. No, it didn't. All right, let's do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lag storm. Whoa, that guy froze to death. <laughs> I was just kind of being a dick. I didn't. I didn't actually think he would freeze. Did they go that fast? Um, I'm sorry, the game quality might decrease a little bit, but the lag is killing me. It's killing my soul. There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna stop moving. Yeah, this game... This game does not like the snow. The snow has just uh, really screwed stuff up here. I've never had it, had it this bad. I'm just gonna turn off the particles. Soft particles. And we're gonna turn off foliage. Dude, why is it lagging so bad? This, this snow is awful. They need to get rid of it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna watch. Oh, oh! I was watching that guy. He went inside. The game's very, the game is very nice looking though. Now, oh, yeah, here we go. This is where the, this is the game. This is the game right here. This is quality firewood cutting going on right here. You can't, you can't get this in any other game. In fact, oh look, we got two. We got two. Oh man. I mean, I, I might, I, I don't know, guys. I might just make the rest of the video about firewood cutting. I won't, I won't do that to you. All right, the <laughs> lag storm has subsided. We have increased our population to an extreme. I have too many people. They're being fed. I got healers. I could build a smokehouse to make the meat they're catching last longer. I just don't care. If I had fish coming in, I would definitely have smokehouses. But again, I'm just trying. I want as many people out there cutting wood and bringing it back. See, I'm already like I already have enough laborers. Had I not min max my farm, like I wouldn't be able to expand the way that I'm expanding. I have 30 farmers. Um, okay, we need to get we need to get some things correct here, though. God, people are getting rabies now. Okay. I need to get some of this stuff. And that's why I like grids. Um, they're just easy. It's just really easy to design around. I'll calculate how far I am. I'm looking at my... Um, looking at my little thing right now. 
We're getting close to the edge down here. And I build our. I forgot to build the granaries here. I'm gonna put my windmills there, and I want to put granary here. Two of them, in fact. Oops, wrong spot. And now I know I'm like well in advance of myself. Weed situation on these is too much. Building granaries here, towers here, wall, wall, wheat. And I am going to put windmills. Glorious windmills. Oh gosh, brain think. Food production. All right, so when you're placing this stuff, you wanna make sure that it's not too close. As you can see, if I place it here, they don't like it. I could place them right here. I'm though, I'm gonna reserve that for commerce. I'm gonna place it right here and right here, two windmills. So now I'm gonna have grain stored here, grain stored here, windmills right here. And I'm going to place a bakery. If you look at the map, Excel sheet, or Google sheet that I have for you, I have it in Excel for me, with the bakery there. And that should be great, but that's probably not enough uh, for the amount of grain I'm gonna be producing. So I am gonna put a bakery here, and a bakery here, and I'm gonna build a well. right next to the bakery and it's great so this well's green which means it's not going to impact it i don't care though because i'm not this isn't a per like nothing here is permanent i'm just trying to like i'm just trying to get some kind of efficiency going i, I start doing the, re the rearranging when everything's good that isn't like my first priority and as you can see my people are hungry so we we have definitely hit peak expansion, and please do not feel the need to expand as fast as I have expanded. You could you could take what I've done here and slow it down 50%. But that's that's how I roll. This is how I roll. I like I don't I just like I'm always just pushing it to the limits. I know that I got food coming in, so I'm not like worried. It's like I know I have constant food sources. Okay, and this baby's ready to go. But this is what I, ta I was talking about, why, why you don't want to have awkward growth. That's why you want to do everything in threes. I always do... I, I should have just done another three, to be honest, and kept it going. Um, I kind of got ahead of my build. This is what I would do in the later stage. I'd add these fields in the later stage, but I just didn't want to take the, the time necessary to to do everything. That's like the honest truth. All right. Um, our weeds are down. We got food coming in. We got people doing stuff. We got wax. Let's see if we got any. Tr I already got my two windmill. This, this, like, once I get the resources for my two windmill, like, I just, I don't care. Got wood coming in. We got firewood. 
We've got clay coming in. This is a good place. This is a good place. We got all our main buildings. We got a really terrible but modest income. Not really worried about that yet. We got two stone roads. And? And? Yeah, double the wood action going. I got way, I way overextended on my planks. Like I could, like I said, you could definitely, if you slow your roll, you can definitely do things better. I would just suggest using the pause button and like kind of like when you hit peak moments, like take your time to kind of like plan out what you need. We are going into winter with the least amount of food that I have ever seen. Just gonna make sure all my stuff is set up correctly now. F for fertility. There it is. Um, fertility looks pretty decent. It's not great. It's hoping to get some manure. We're almost there. I don't know why I don't like sand. Three thousand sand. I'll, I'll, I just don't do preserves. I never. I've never had to. I just find. I find them exhausting. But there's definitely money to be made selling preserves. I think. I could use the compost on this, and I'm going to, because I need that wheat. I need it badly. I was thinking about using it on something up there, but, uh, nah. Gotta get that wheat. The reason you want your wheat is because flour doesn't spoil. Um, it just sits, well, it doesn't, it takes like, I think it takes like 24 months to spoil, so it just sits in a granary. So it's like, even if, and it doesn't count, as you can see, there's no flour in the food stores. They don't count it. They only count the bread. So you could have two months of, two months worth of food up here, but have so much flour that you don't have to worry. I mean, like, cause it will be converted into bread. So you always have a ready source of food um, to, be con to be created. So that's why bread in this game is just super broken. It's like, you just have to rush, rush into bread as soon as you possibly can. So I have two windmills. I have a bakery in progress, and I got my fields going. And I got people standing around freezing to death. That's smart. Oh no, oh no, it's not, oh my god, I'm such a dumbass. Oh my gosh, I forgot, I forgot to put gates. <laughs> I was like, why, why are they standing around? I, uh. I'm normally not like this. It's uh, it's been a long day. I'm just like, all right. Remember to put gates. Remember to put your gates. All right, be be free, guys. Be free. I wonder how many people. I wonder how many people are frozen to death because. Um, I forgot to build gates. Um, let me check. I I I've been getting so many people that I haven't really. All right. All right. Only 13 people have died in my colony in seven years, so not, not too many of those could have been people freezing to death. That's an acceptable number of people to freeze to death, too, in seven years, so. Man. Man. See, this is what I'm talking about. You can, there's, there's a lot of forgiveness in this game. You just have to know how stuff works. I'm not break. I'm not breaking a sweat. I'm not breaking a sweat right now, cause I know. I know I can bring in enough food. To make it a harvest. Oh man! And once and once I get bread. It's this game is you don't even have to try. All right, I am gonna pause. Let's 
because they'll lumber. I t typically don't like to do that, but... Oh, I do want those bricks. I do want those herbs. All right, we're gonna buy the bricks. No, no, we're, I can, well, the thing is I can gather the herbs. I know where they are. We're gonna buy the bricks. Please let me get 40. Oh man. And then one more. I'm just gonna type it in. This is driving me crazy. Oh my god. Okay. We were able to purchase 40 bricks. That should be enough for me to upgrade or build something. All right, we got the bakery. We got a field full of people freezing to death. I don't, honestly, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what's going on out here. It's just like a ritual for them now or something. Oh man. Okay. And we've, we have expanded beyond our means. So I have to do something crazy here and I have to double down on my expansion. Each one of these is gonna bring in four people, 16 people, that should be enough. Probably won't expand too much beyond this build. All right, I have a lot of charcoal. I'm gonna start throwing that in start throwing all my honey because I'm not making alcohol so I don't need it I don't need it sitting around doing nothing and now that I have wax and firewood production going I can get into my favorite trade item which is candles candles of the bread and butter keep it near your storage um, It's not flat here. Alright, I'll just build these and move them around later. Let's build two of them. We're gonna... Uh, we don't have the people, though. This is what I'm saying. People are a resource. You want to focus them on expansion. I want money so I can buy stuff. I want people making food so I can... I can afford to... Uh, expand. Build more houses. I don't care about shoes, I don't care about coats. All right, we got raiders attacking. This is why you fortify the area. They immediately will stop what they're doing and run towards the area that's shooting people. It's a pretty funny feature of the game. So they're not trying to loot. They're not. They're just trying to die, basically. And they died. And I killed almost all of their friends. No towers. Not a single tower. With that said, though. I'm gonna build a tower there because my base is kind of expanding. But as you can see, I'm off to this. This is it. Like, yeah, it's like I show you. I show you a complete build, and you're like, "How the hell did you get to that?" Um, this is what you gotta do. You don't have to be this aggressive, but like, I'm like, I. You really, you really could just take your time and just like focus on like good growth focus on making sure your, your people can uh, cut firewood all day yeah that's the stuff our firewood's good our wood is good and remember this harvest tool does include bushes and berries so they will come out and harvest these berries and stuff if you're running out of food. But that's why you need a good labor pool. I 
I need more people. Yeah. So it's like once I get to a point where I don't have that many laborers, it's like I got people coming in. I got houses going. I got to expand. Oh, baby, yes. I don't care. I don't care how bad of a harvest it is. I need that bread. I need that bread if I'm going to survive. We're, uh, we're, we're mixing it up. All right, the weeds are gone. This is the build that I use. I don't care. Okay. Always accept. Um, I take a year off to grow clovers, return fertility to the ground. It also decreases the chance of diseases. And I alternate the year that they take off so that in any given year I have two crops. I'll have two fields that are, are yielding wheat. So every single, so every, so there's three years and this crop rotation and every single one of them to these farm plots is going to be yielding wheat, grain. So this guy's taken off the first year. This guy's taken off the second year. And this guy will take off the third year growing clovers. And that is wheat production. And once we get that baby, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah, once we get that going, got the harvest in, food's good. We are sit like we are sitting pretty. This is good. Got a freaking tower in the northeast section. The raids are pretty light. We're expanding. Rinse and repeat. Eventually, I will have this entire sector filled out, and then I will start walling it. Um, you know what? Screw that. Let's just, let's just get a little bit of a wall going here. So it looks kind of cool. This is like totally just coolness factor. It's like, oh wow, these people are actually like building something. It's like, well, they have plans. They have a future. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Oh man, yeah, yeah. And all the food's coming in. Again, you could be you could be way more way more involved. Uh, I just have no longer the uh, attention span necessary to chase deer. I'm focused on. Expansion, not, not chasing deers. All right, and on this one, we're gonna take the third year off. I better get it before it changes. And I don't really care. The reason I alternate wheat and, and uh, rye is because they have diseases which can impact both of them, but they also have diseases which can impact the, their strains individually. Um, so I just alternate them to decrease that probability. Like I don't grow just one. I don't just grow pure wheat because that just like substantially increases the probability that it will infect it. Now, uh, with everything that I've said around here, the game mechanics say that diseases can spread up to like 20 tiles away. Um, so people will stagnate their farming. I've never had a disease infect a plot next to it it's supposed to work that way but it doesn't it does not i've ne like i've never had an issue i I've, I've been doing this forever and i've never had an issue even though like i should so eventually you are going to want to like you're gonna want the 10 by 11s might be like the future of farming for that reason because you could just do 10 by 11s and alternate like wheat like this would be a wheat plant this one would do wheat this one would do wheat and then the ones in between grow beans so that they're not infecting each other so like you'll have something that like grows a certain set of crops and that's especially useful too because you like most of the crops have the same like same soil types that they want oops made a mistake there um they have similar like right there is like the sweet spot. So like if I put it here, these are each gonna have, these are each gonna be pretty happy. 
And the same with like your uh, your beans and stuff. Like beans want to be here, here. Um, I've actually I don't think that this feature is actually working because no one ever does anything. I think you may actually maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is what this is what field maintenance might be for. I actually have to try that one out. I never really like I don't I I know I say I min max, but for that I didn't really care. I just don't. It's like 10%. Food, food is like, um, I, I I go for overkill on food to the point that it, it's never an issue late game for me. So I've never, like 10%'s never really been worth, uh, worth the time, but I, I'll need to look into that. I'll need to, to find an answer to that one. Um, this guy has nothing I want. He has cows. Cows might be good to buy. This other stuff might be good to buy. All right, and so look at this. I was telling you that coal can sell for five gold. This guy's gonna buy all of it, so we are we are rich. And I have enough coal to sell him. I'm gonna buy these ingots for upgrades. I'm gonna buy all buy a hundred. Um, don't care about melee weapons because I just use ranged, and I'll sell him the rest. So now I have quite a bit of gold. I'm going to transfer half, keep half for... Mm, yeah, I'll buy the stone. Always good to have stone. I'll, I'll buy cows in the future. Wood? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's buy some... Even though it's kind of silly, because I have so much. It's always, always good to have more wood than you need. And we're good. So there you go. I just made a ton of gold off coal. So, like, probably took two. That's probably like 20, 20 lumber. That was that was actually like third, about like thirty lumber, probably thirty lumber that made that much coal to produce that. It's like nothing. That's what I'm saying. It's like a handful of, of wood. And I bought it. Look how much wood I bought. I bought with like the scraps I had left over. It's just it's just stupid. And the iron allowed me to build the vault. Now I got my gold secure. Alright, so things are good. Um, this is probably going to be the end for today and I'll pick this up again tomorrow um, but this is like two hour like two hours in and everything's going around going pretty well I've got mass this is like this is huge right here I don't think you all right I don't think you realize how, how crazy huge this is um, got to get rid of those weeds that's this is the problem is I was I I rushed into this and I didn't have time to pre-till the land. So we're gonna have low fertility, but I'm gonna be able to put compost into this. Um, this this isn't uh, this isn't like how I would usually do this. This is a bad, really bad example, but uh, it doesn't matter because we're gonna each. It's like a th we're gonna be producing like two thousand wheat. 2,000 wheat a year, which is going to translate into 2,000 bread. And we're never going to have to worry about food in the winter again. We want to get candle... Like, we're going to... We're actually... What's set? What sucks is like, we have okay. We got enough wax. We have finally made it to the point where things start some snowballing. Like, I am going to be expanding super rapidly now. I got candles going. I I mean, like these two candle makers probably gonna pull in at least like four 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 thousand gold a year with the candles. I got coal producing probably about two thousand coal. So I'm probably gonna be making around like six or seven thousand gold just to set up. I'm not even trying. It depends on what I can sell. I usually put a lot more effort into this, but I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to show kind of like a speed build for this. Um, 
So yeah, it's gonna snowball. I'm gonna have gold with that gold. I'm gonna buy everything I need to make upgrades. I'm gonna, um, I need 25 households, 150 people. I can upgrade the tier three. I can, I can really start just rushing everything now. And once I, I could buy bricks, I can upgrade the market. I think with our expansion into wheat that workers, oh, whoops. Yeah, workers are, um, oh my gosh. I forgot, these have a one space tile for us sticks. We got a little bit of disease, little bean disease going. Bean peas, buckwheat, carrots. Oh, that's why I don't grow carrots. Uh, so I'll get a. Eh, yeah, we'll be fine. I don't, I don't pay the diseases too much mind. They always kind of go away, to be honest. They might patch that in later games, and I'll have to completely revise my farming strategy. Not really worried. get all this clay taken up I I know like I've built on a lot of resources but like I showed you my build right all right I'm 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 pulling in like 20 25,000 gold a year with this build like you, you hit a point where it's just like it's just faster to buy resources and buy what you need and I have so much clay it's not like it's the only clay deposit there's deposits everywhere so don't get too hung up on that stuff Mostly I just need bodies. It's like I just, you always want to make sure that you have um, a positive labor, like at least 20, 20 laborers. Okay. I think my next goal is going to be a barn. Want to get the get your cattle going so they can start growing. Get the hide, get the milk, get the meat. All right, and that's going to be it for this playthrough though. I got I'll get to this tomorrow.